Hi everyone. Uh, today we will learn about the WebGL vertex buffer object. Okay. So before learn the vertex buffer object, you should learn previous lecture first. I will have practice with code in my Git server. So if you need the sample code, then you can download it from here. Okay. Today's lecture is about the vertex buffer object. So we will learn how to create vertex buffer object, object and then how to send data from main memory to, to graphics memory and how to change that value. This diagram is about uh, NVIDIA Tegra 4 graphics pipeline. It's kind of a logical diagram of graphics pipeline. So it said that it is very similar to previous pipeline diagram we already learned but slightly different okay so first thing is vertex buffer object uh, there is some kind of cache and then it is it is sent it to primitive processing and then it is sent to vertex shader and then primitive assembly lysterizer and then depth substantial i think it is very similar to per fragment operation in our previous uh, diagram okay i'll show you previous diagram yeah pop fragment operation is in here okay so and then it, it is stored in pixel cache and then stored it with frame buffer it is almost a similar uh, diagram uh, okay today we will learn the how to transfer transfer data with OpenGL api call with using WebGL 1.0, then send it into send it into the the but but vertex buffer object. So in this diagram, the, the arrow is located in here, but it does not mean that OpenGL API calls send data to primitive processing, sending data to this whole part. Okay, I'll show you another example. So. It's the same mm, hardware, the NVIDIA Tegra 4 GPU architecture. It said that it is kind of a hardware block diagram. So there are six vertex. It means that vertex processing unit. It means the vertex shader is executed in this module. So each module had, has four dot. Each dot is, is kind of a arithmetic uh, processing unit. So each vertex processing unit have have four uh, calculation uh, unit. It means that vertex shader is executed in parallel. Okay, and then they use the, of course they use vertex vertex buffer object or vertex cache as an input, and then they will generate that, that result to result to memory and then it will be used as a, some kind of lasterization operation and then it can be processed in the in the, the pixel processing unit they call it pixel processing unit but it's very similar to fragment shader or pop fragment operation okay okay let's go into the vertex buffer object. Vertex buffer object is the cache data to geogra uh, graphic memory, and it, it it has some kind of vertex attributes. It is very good for uh, rendering performance and memory bandwidth and power consumption. For example, for example, if we send the vertex data in every drawing then memory bus between cpu and gpu will be very busy so the memory transfer bandwidth is very slower is very slower than the computation power so if if the application send frequently send the the vertex buffer data then the whole performance of graphics application will be dropped. There are two types of uh, uh, vertex buffer object. 
the one is GL array buffer. Uh, GL array buffer stores the attributes of vertex. And second thing is GL element array buffer. The it is uh, it stores the 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 index data of vertex. There is some kind of a triangle then with, with vertex zero, vertex one, vertex two. We can put the vertex attribute with with GL array vertex array buffer. Then it sends uh, some attributes to GPU, and then we can draw with assembled with this vertex data. We can draw triangle. Okay. Sometimes we can we can send and uh, send the vertex attribute first, and then we can draw. Uh, the we can assemble the triangle with index for example triangle first triangle is 0 1 2 for example the, if there is another the triangle then we can make make another triangle with third uh, third vertex then I, I want to draw with 1 3 2 vertex then make a triangle that kind of thing is possible with GL element array buffer. Okay, now we will learn uh, how to creating and binding vertex buffer object. First, we will learn in OpenGL. Yes, okay. Uh, it is a so kind of a sample code of uh, OpenGL. Yes, yes, two point zero. The it is kind of a uh, function that. It is vertex is stored in this array, I think. And then there is some kind of a uh, index. Index data is stored in this array. Is because send it as a parameter with a pointer. Pointer. To and then a number of vertex and number of index is sent to to as a parameter. And then there is a, some kind of a pointer for unsigned integer pointer or VBO ID. It is it will be used for vertex buffer object identifier. Okay. There is a three function major function is three the GL gen buffers generate buffer with it is number how many and the two it said two. So VBO IDs VBO IDs is is kind of an array so two created buffer id is stored in this array and then gl bind buffer with first element of vbo ids and then create the bind buffer is done by the, as a type of a gl array buffer and second third step is that we are we are sending the data into this this vertex buffer object. So the vertex attribute data stored in in here vertex buffer send it into into GL array buffer. What kind of array buffer? Yes, we already bind it. So uh, the the binded buffer is it, this one. So so vertex buffer data will be send it into this VBO, okay, and then it is all element index buffer, okay. So GL bind buffer is uh, for used for ta second type is element array buffer. So the second element is used for array element array, and then and then I think we need to bind buffer is needed, but. But sometimes we don't have to do that. But and then GL buffer data is, it is sent to element array buffer and then send index data on sign the short array. It this array include like this zero one two one two three that kind of information is is included in this data and then send it into into here, VBO. This VBO is element 
element array buffer. Okay, so then we the 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 the, the vertex array data and vertex element array data is sent it into GPU and stored in the GPU. You can see that so for example in GL gen buffers with it is kind of a pointer. So so the result of GL bumper GL buffers maybe there is there is some kind of result that result is stored in here it is because the in C language we can we can send the uh, parameter with call by reference call by address so, so we can store the result in parameter but in JavaScript it is not easy and it is sometimes it is not possible so so this command is modified in WebGL. Okay, for example, this is our the hello triangle code. The, the function name is initialize buffer. The buff, the uh, in OpenGL yes, all uh, API command start with GL, but the uh, in WebGL GL prefix does not exist does does not exist in, in the uh, function names. So GL is removed, and then uh, previously in OpenGL, yes, it was a GL uh, gen buffer, but it is changed into create buffer, and it does not have any parameters, no parameters. Okay, then result is stored as return value, then it is stored in structure, it is stored in class with vertex buffer object. Okay, so naturally. The vertex buffer is vertex buffer object. So, and then the same command. It looks like the same command. The, the bind buffer. Bind buffer command used as a. Oh yeah, I will use this this buffer for array buffer. Then this result is used in here. Okay, okay, good. Okay, so, and then, and then we can send buffer send uh, the data from CPU to GPU by GL buffer data. And we set uh, the type of uh, buffer and then vertex data, vertex data is in here, okay? So, it is changed to plot 32 array. It means that sometimes, sometimes array in JavaScript, it is different to C languages. So we need to clarify that it is array of 32 bit floating point data mm. for example if javascript stored this uh, this floating point number with 64 bit then then it is not manageable uh, it, it is not possible to send it into gpu okay so Sometimes we should change into 32 bit protein point number. So if, if, if data is 64 bit, then we can change it into 32 bit. We can, we can, we can change it by this function. Or some memory architecture is different. So we can change the shape with this thing. Then, then we can set the parameters with some cache behavior. So, we set it is it is static draw. If we set it static draw, then it means that we we will not change this data frequently. So it is sometimes it is stored in some the different management uh, uh, cache management scale. So it is stored in internally in cache. In GLS, we need to send the the number of the uh, bytes. But we don't have to send that parameter in WebGL because vertex data object already have the size of memory. Okay. Mm, first, I copied the previous uh, Hello Triangle program into VBO folder to change it. Okay, and I go to VBO. Then I will change the hello.js file to to testing various kind of uh, the VBO example. Okay. okay. Then I will learn VI editor. 
I will explain the GL test error. So in we will learn this part initialize buffer. So so in after the I I I said that there is a three kind of a basic command that in WebGL. First thing is create buffer. Second thing is bind buffer. Third thing is buffer data. So we can we can use VBO by this basic three command. It, that is the initialized status of uh, VBO. So, but but in final step there is a, some kind of a test GL error function is called with the little value. The, it is kind of a message. So to know that where is the point of uh, error is occurred. It means that this function is called. So this function said that, okay, there is some kind of variable. Uh, the GL get error ex is executed in here. So it is slightly different uh, with normal debugging. For example, for example, if we, uh, but there, there are three, G, uh, the WebGL command is executed, but we just learn only one test. So, in WebGL or Web OpenGL or OpenGL ES, even though there is a, some kind of an error in this function call or API call, it, it goes to next step. It means that if, if there is a, some kind of error in GL create buffer or in bind buffer, it does not matter. It goes to next step. So think about it. This API is called in CPU. In CPU, okay. I will I will explain with the drawing. Okay. Okay. Some API calls calls in here CPU CPU part in CPU part we call it. Okay. Create buffer bind buffer or something and then it, it executed then the GPU must do something for API call but in CPU uh, the GL API calls is kind of a how can I say that yeah it is kind of a synchronous command it means that it is executed then some parameter will be sended to GPU Okay, then it, there is no answer, even though it is not finished yet, but in CPU, it goes to the next step. And, and, and then another command is executed to here. It will, it will be managed in, into queue. And then, so, and then immediately next command will be executed in here. So third command was the, the Data sending data, so it 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 will take some time, and then it goes to next step. Next step was GL at GL that error error checking. So so for example, if there is some kind of error in here, so GL bind the bind buffer or something, then there is kind of a, some flag. There is flag flag is on and then some kind of a in register there is a, some error message is stored in here okay bind the buffer error or some we don't have memory or something that kind of error message error code is stored in here so when the so many api calls and then we call gl error check then most recent error stored error status value will be needed okay so if if the most recent error was the binding error or more lack of memory or something then this information will be returned to here okay so let's go back to code okay we we learned test error gl error then test gl error said that okay last error is gl get error then if no error then something no then return true then if there is error then we make 
kind of alert is displayed in failed something. So with using this this test GL error function, then we can notice that it, it, there is an error or there is no error. But it is not possible to which part is which part is failure. The, for example, for example, I will try to make the error in here. Okay. Okay. GL dot array buffer is maybe it will be error, but I, I think it will be kind of numbers. So I will add one hundred. Then it surely it will be error. So I saved, and then okay. This is new folder, so I okay same folder. So I will execute index.html. Then I'll show you. Yep. Initialize buffer failed. Okay. On page the the alert sign is displayed. Okay. So initialize buffer fails. But we cannot know that which part is failed. But in this function there are, there are error, but we don't know which part. So if we want to know that to to which part is error or not, so we need to copy it. We call it again and again and again. So so we need to add so, so we can change the, the message to it's a create buffer error or the, or support text buffer error, but if there is some kind of error something so we need to make that kind of conditional statement okay so i'll remove it okay and error checking is very time consuming work so sometimes it broke it it broke the pipeline stage so it makes low performance okay let's make uh two triangles can you see the the, the triangle coordinate uh, in here so okay that is shape of triangle then I copied it into, into it and then I set some triangle it okay so let's design it drawing was like this so in canvas there was one triangle and coordinate system is in 0, 0, origin is in here, so minus 4 is in here, so plus 4 is in here, so I will draw another triangle in here, so in here, 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 okay, so I can get the, the coordinate, okay, so x coordinate is, is, okay, 0 0.6, and right corner is 0 0.8, and top corner is 0 0.7 and then change it into 0 point, 0 point, uh, so y coordinate 0 point 0.6 6 and 0 point 0.8 that's okay and then I write wrote and then I will execute it uh oh there's no drawing okay then we need to check the code Twelve on syntax error unexpected number hello that js sorry eight line sorry eight line oh there is no comma okay I will check okay so many time I mistake it okay then I wrote it and then I reload it okay initialize buffer failed what is it initialize buffer oh yes yeah, sorry I will remove it so I will remove the intentional error code and then write and then load it okay we displayed it okay then then okay I want to see the small tiny oh oh nope 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 there was no error but nope okay okay what's the problem the drawing command is in in render scene so Drawing command is gl dot draw array. Gl dot draw array here. Gl triangles. Okay, they are draw drawing triangles. So zero point three. 
then what it means in zero and three parameters so I, I will change it into into okay I will change it into six and save it then result will be different there is I will reduce it 50% zoom okay so it means oh yeah there is a small triangle aha so it means okay gl draw array draw array from zero index to index with with to index six start and or number so we need we need to know that so so you can use you can use the, the reference card so you can download it in Chrome's homepage. So uh, reference card, okay? Did you see that? Reference card. Then the in Chrome's group, the standard organization have a uh, file. So I already have it, but and then you can open it. Okay, I'll show you. Okay, it looks like this. Okay, if you have a color printer or something, then please print it and and have it when you're programming WebGL so it's very useful for programming WebGL let's check the the the, the draw, draw draw array okay there is one draw arrays there is okay draw arrays mode and then integer first and then long in, long integer count so so in in case of mode the it is pointers line strip line loop lines triangle strip triangles pen fan triangles okay we are using triangles okay triangles and then so integer uh, the second parameter is first first element of array then third thing is count not end index count it means that if if i want to draw draw like this then okay let's check the result the load it oh yeah okay i see I see. Okay. If I want to draw something, some part of array, then we can use that start number and count. Okay. You can use it, the reference card. Okay. If you don't know about the API command or something, then please use it. The quick reference card is just for quick reference. If you want the more detailed behavior of the API command then you can download it, the full spec then you can search it search the command in the full spec okay okay and then let's learn how to draw two triangle with draw element okay so let's see the quick reference card okay just after draw ele draw arrays there there is a command is draw element okay draw element is is same parameters with mode and count there is no first op option in draw element but dot count only and then type type is type is new new parameters and then type is unsigned byte or unsigned short so we need to make it unsigned byte or unsigned short okay and then long offset offset means offset means yes yeah we need to jump it into some part so so it, it is offset is working offset is working like to count so okay let's make it with code First thing we need to make element. So let's define element. Okay. 
in here. Okay. Oh, let's define. Yeah, element data equals. Okay, one. I think it is, it is because it is index. I will make zero comma one two three four five. Okay, and then semicolon. Then that is element data. So we need to to doing same thing. So I will do gl dot dot put element buffer is gl create buffer dot create buffer okay then okay gl dot bind buffer Okay, we do gl dot element array buffer with gl dot element buffer. Okay, and then gl dot buffer data, same as. I copied it. But for data, the element array, and I will try it. It is it, it, like like new int int. I'll try integer first. Sorry to array array with element. Data, okay. To GL element buffer, okay. That is, it looks exactly same sequence, but I I I do it twice. For one is for array buffer, second thing is to for element buffer. So, for more clear view, I will remove the comment. Then it is kind of a. It is kind of some symmetric to compare it, and then we need to draw in the Anderson. We need to draw with with oh where is the ladder? Okay, okay. In the Anderson, we need to draw with GL draw element, and then let's see the let's see the parameters gl draw element mode count type offset okay then we will use this one okay then mode okay i'll copy it then i'll make it comment gl draw the element some commands are very Strange, but there is a, yeah, S should be there. So, mode is GL triangles, and then, and then, so parameter is count. Count is, there is, a, I think it is six because we, we put that six elements. And then, type, type is, type is, oh, sorry, type is, GL unsigned byte. So I I I changed it into signed integer, but I try it. Okay, okay. Unsigned byte. Unsigned short. Unsigned short. Okay. Unsigned short. So, okay. I try it. Unsigned short. Uh oh. GL dot unsigned short. Then offset. I will set offset is zero. Okay. Then problem is, uh, I set it into to to this the element data is the integer. So is there? I need to check this into sort to array. So because sort it is not 
the, the, there are two parameters, byte or short is only. So we need to search the search. I think let's try it. I don't know there is or not as you unsigned int u int 16 bit because short okay it, it should be small character and right okay I'll check the again I've saved and then reload it on type error gl44 is not in function e gl.4444 where is it gl4444 oh sorry not 44 gl44 yeah it should be different yes in gl. static sorry static Draw. Okay, then write. Okay, I'll check the result. Okay, and then let's check the the offset. So, in case of it is its name is offset, it is in in many case it should be written on the unit of byte. So it is because if we set the parameter with unsigned short. Then if we go, to, if we want to go to next parameters, then it will be increased one byte. But in case of unsigned short, we should jump to two byte. The offset will be two. So to go to the next triangle, we need to jump three element with unsigned short two byte. So we need to jump it into six. Okay. So I'll check the result. Okay, so they load it. Uh oh, GL draw always pales. Okay, what's the problem? Okay, I found it. Okay, I find it. It is because so in 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 data there is a three ele six element. I think this is six is correct, but the problem is there are only six element but we ordered to draw six two triangles so it is not possible to if there is no data in later part so we need to reduce it to two to three then then we can make it okay so let's check it the result yes we found it so okay the, the we finished the, the, the drawing two triangle with the draw arrays with draw elements and then in next lecture i will teach you how to change the color of two triangles okay okay thank you very much bye everyone